Genome enhancement successfully activated. 1739 enhanced dust used to complete. It's going to do the cool little process. Finally, finally get to do this. I'm really excited that we finally get to do the genome enhancement. Let's go. Arx Family Evolved TBF Gaming jumping back into our Center Eternal playthrough. Excited to go on today. We were working on a bunch of stuff. We're doing a bunch of genome stuff. I went out and took out a few of the hives. I was kind of testing out the Alpha Mantis. I thought that the Alpha Mantis had an evolution, but maybe it's only Alpha to Prime. I know it does evolve, right? At least I know the Prime Mantis evolves for sure. Now I'm not so sure about this one, but we were kind of just messing with some of our dinos that we've kind of forgotten about just a little bit. Let's go ahead and grab that pike back. Thank you. Let's go ahead and put our pickaxe back down here. But we were testing him out real quick just kind of remember what exactly he does. He's still a pretty, pretty sweet dino. We'll definitely wait until we get the prime one, or we'll see if we can evolve that one to prime later on. We were working on a couple other things. First off, we we're kind of looking at all the dinos that we have in our inventory. We've got a bunch of them. The big ones that we got to try out, we have an internal Indominus Gorilla that we got in the last episode, or maybe one of the last episodes, and he is gigantic. I can't wait to try that guy out. And then we got this one from a friend, Lizard Man, the Indom. Hold on, where's it at? The... Here you go. The actual Alpha Indom, and this guy definitely has evolution up to the Prime tier, so it's pretty amazing. There you go, boom. Level 831, Eternal Alpha Indom Rex. Absolutely awesome. We'll mess with that one here a little bit, too. But today we're working on the genome mod, and I finally made a little pathway over there. I'll show you that real quick. So you pretty much just go on these HG Tech Dino ones. We can add little ones too. I have the little ones on my inventory, or I did. We had the little ones on our inventory to add over there as well. Jump up here and then down inside there. Eventually we're gonna have the HG hanger that will cover this up and keep us nice and safe, but it is very, very expensive. It's gonna be a while. We also put some lights up so it's not at least too dark over here. It's still a little dark in certain corners. We'll get that fixed up. We're working now on the next tool. We've got ourselves the genome extractor. We put the things on there that go on there, which is the template storage container, the genome key mount, the genome storage container, and the, you can't see it right now, but the corrupt nodule storage. And there is stuff in there right now. We're actually about to do it again. I did it as a test just to make sure that I wasn't crazy. So on here, you make sure that you have the corrupt fuel cells and you have the hive embryo and we're working on the enhanced tier, which is the first tier in genomes. But you put the hive embryo in there. And then you make sure that you have inside of here a actual key. Offspring genome key. Put that on the trophy slot. There you go. You can see it all lights up so you know you're doing it right. Inside of here, you have to have blank keys. I have one. Do I need a second one? I'm not 100% sure now. I'm not sure. We'll leave it as is. And then we come over here and we say activate genome sequence. She gets all excited, cheers us on. It does the little laser thing. And then eventually that will turn into these things. 50 of this and 50 of this. Oh, sorry. 50 of that every time you do it. So we've got to wait for that second set. Now we're working on this tool, which is the genome synthesizer. Now we need... i got to remember which one it is. Is it the key mount on this one too? No, no, that doesn't go on this one. Is it the genome storage? It is. So genome storage... We'll need another genome storage and where's the other one? Nodules? Is it that one? Yeah. We need two of these nodule storages. Okay, let's do that. So we need sub substructures. And then we need the genome storage. And corrupt nodule storage. And I think that's it. Yeah, key mount and template only go on that first one. Okay, so there it is. It's a little confusing. Once I get the entire process set up, I will do like one guide video on it again. We have one back in the day that was semi-decent and kind of walks you through how to do it. And it's still pretty much the same. We're going to go over here and now throw these last two pieces on. All right. Nodule storage. Does it not go on over here? There it goes. Boom. And then the actual genome storage right there. All right. So now, if I can remember how to do this, you'll need to construct an additional components on this structure. Then you're going to do... Oh, man, this was the one that I don't remember for sure. But I think we grab this stuff out of here. All right, so we grab those 100 there. We grab this 100 of that. And then we go... I think we grab these keys. This is me kind of fumbling through it again. I don't remember for sure. And now we take... I need a couple fuel cells. We can get those from over there, but we'll take it from right there. Oh, come on. Now, I think we go... So, we go like this. We go in here. Do we split these, or is it just all in one? I don't know. 
Let's split it. No, it's not that one. Uh, this one? No. This one? Hold on. Genome storage. What am I doing wrong here? I thought it was that one. Is it the other one? Oh, it's up in our inventory. That's right. We grabbed some earlier. Okay. So we go like this. Put that in there. Now, I don't know. I'm only going to do one and one and see if that works. And then we'll try both. Okay. It doesn't look like the whole thing lit up. I'm a little worried. Okay, fuel cells. Turn on. Okay, go out, come back in. And now we put this in here, right? Activate genome sequence. The game freezes like it's all going to break. And then it does the thing. Give it a second. I think that's it. Oh, it's still doing the thing. 27 seconds. Okay, so that's working on that. It's a little confusing. I'm still kind of trying to figure it out just a little bit. We will eventually get there. 20 seconds remaining on that one. And then we'll continue to work on this stuff. If you guys remember, we basically go from this one, which makes the tendrils. If I can access it. It takes the tendrils, turns them into fuel cells. And then the fuel cells you put on here. And it takes the fuel cells, mixes them with the ore, which gives you the ingot. And then the ingot is made to make everything else. And then eventually you get this, which is where you build all the rest of the structures. So that's basically what we're working on. Primary structure, make sure we got everything there. Good. Let's go see if we're about done. It is a definite learning experience. All right. Now we go back in here. And there you go. The in completed enhanced genome sequence. Boom. We'll go ahead and put the rest of those on. Turn that off. All right. So now we should get the next piece, right? Yep. Data log 08. Put that on here. Now we've got the genome enhancing station. This is what actually changes our dino into the super-powered genome dinos. So that's what we're working on now. Let's do this. Hopefully we got the stuff for it. I have been gathering all morning. I better have the stuff. Primary structure. And I think I just said 08. Genome extractor, no. Serum extractor, no. Genome enhancing station, is that what it was? Yes, for the small creatures. Okay, just make sure it was the right one. We have the stuff for it. So we craft this guy, and this is what we're actually gonna use to evolve our dinos. So now go like that, go like that. Now we take this over here. It is giant, so we'll see if we can place it. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna kind of overlap onto things. We'll figure out how to kind of place everything in here where it's not ridiculous. All right, that's a little ridiculous, but we'll work on that as we go. All right, so now I think this one requires a couple things: a complete genome and some tier. Appropriate dust. Oh, and install dust container. You got this. So I need dust container. Let's move this around a little bit more. I'm not really liking where it's at. Maybe if I can move this back a little bit. Hopefully it'll still connect up there. Let's go like this. Can we scoot like all the way to the edge? Let's go the other way. And then I'll go up and remo I'll move the one up on top too if I have to. Okay, so that gets that all the way to the edge better. but Much better, much better. So now, am I still good? We're still good. We just need to move down a little. Okay. So let's go like that. This takes a lot of trial and error, but we'll get it. There you go. All right, still good. Still good. All right, perfect. Now we can move this back just a little bit. So like this. Now we can go enhancing station. And now it can actually go back a little. And there's a larger one. We'll need more space for that. But for right now, this works perfectly. All right. So now we need dust container. This is the easy part. So we go back over here. We'll go dust. Hold on. Where is the dust container? I don't know. Have we learned dust container yet? Maybe it's this. Dust harvester and dust storage container. There we go. All right. Dust container. I think we need six of them total. We are missing corrupt crystal. Ouch. Okay, so we got to work on some crystal. Hopefully two of these is enough to get it rolling. We need a lot more corrupt crystal. I guess we've used a lot of it. All right, now these are little storage containers, and they just go on here. Like I said, hopefully we only need the two. Boom. Now we need the appropriate dust, which is the... Whatever one we're working on, we have to go back and grab that dust. Elite or enhanced? Enhanced is the first tier, and then elite is the second tier. 
So run back over here. And we'll go... I think it's down here. We should have a crazy amount of it, I hope. Genome drop. Enhanced. Oh, you know what? No, it is up top. It's up top. Alright. And then we'll go... Nope. Wrong one. Come on. Alright. Enhanced. Boom. Okay. Crazy amounts of enhanced. Run back over. Do the thing. And now we get to evolve our guys. This is kind of a long process. But once you get used to it, it's really not too bad. So now we go in here. And we put the dust in this one, I think, right? Dust. And then we go fuel cell again, probably. So let's grab a bunch of fuel cells. All right, grab a nice little stack. I think it needs this. Almost everything needs it. All right. Turn on. And then you exit it, go back in, and now the trophy slot will show up. And now we take the completed key, put it there. Oh, man. And now we get a small-sized dino. We're going to take Big Bad Mama Bear, who's doing pretty decent damage. In fact, let's go test her out. So we take her, and we level her up a little bit. So let's do that. Let's just see how much, how much damage we're doing first. All right. Jump off. We've got to eat one or two things to kind of test it out. I need that. I need that. Go get that first. Can't pass up any of these. We need them badly. All right, get that. There you go. Get us some all the stuff. Oh, we got more behind us. Nope. Is that one or is that a just a broken thing? Give it a second. Okay. It's just a broken one. I can never tell. It just kind of sits there for a minute. All right, so let's go eat something. All right, so Big Bad Mama Dare Bear is doing 420,000. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Get out. Get out. Okay, yep. Heal up. Heal, heal. Heal. Get in the water. Okay, get away. Get away. Oh, we're not going to make it. Run, 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 run. We should have been on a flyer. This is my fault. Run like crazy. <laughs> that was scary. That was very scary. Just keep running. You just got to get out of draw distance so you'll be good to go. Oh, good. That's what we need right now. Let's just get away. Is this my is this my tower? There it is. All right. Are we far enough away that we're good? Or is the Titan God still coming? I think we're safe. All right. That was almost the end of days. We're sitting there trying to level her up. And we almost lost her. Let's go down now. Now, we're going to go throw her on here so we saw how much damage she did. Now, we're going to make sure... You don't even need to empty the inventory or take the saddle off, if I remember correctly. Now, we're going to come over here, and we're going to say, activate. Yeah! Genome enhancement successfully activated. 1739 enhanced dust used to complete. It's going to do the cool little process. Finally, finally get to do this. I'm really excited that we finally get to do the genome enhancing. This is our first one of the season. We're pretty far in to be the first one of the season. There you go. They get all excited. They used to turn around. Does it not do that anymore? But basically, he's, she is getting a cool enhancement right now. She's waving at us, saying all is good. I know. You're going to be awesome in a minute. This will take the stats and increase them even more. Should be awesome. And then we'll take her back out, test her out. Because of the type of dino she is, you're not going to see really like an effect or anything. But these guys do get an effect from the genomes as well. So now... This dino is a, and it gets a little confusing, Enhanced Tyrant Cosmic Eternal Alpha Dire Bear. There you go. Say that five times fast. You can see all the stats jumped up like crazy. Let's go test her out now. So she should have gotten a nice little damage boost. I don't remember the exact. Do I have the, the guide up still? I had the guide up earlier. So this is a tier one is times two stats. So theoretically, she should be double from what she was just a few minutes ago. So that's what we'll test real quick. Jump down here. Anybody we can eat real quick? Oh, perfect. Right there. Right there. Come here, Mossy. You will be the first sacrifice. So now we are doing... Oh, we don't have the thing up. My bad. Uh-oh. No, he broke our dino. <laughs> uh, we broke the dino. Okay. 
This is what we were worried about. This was something that we kind of talked about with a couple people in Discord. It looks like... Yeah, we broke her. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, when you do... Hold on. Let's, let's pause for a second. When you do the genome evolution, after you've done all the level ups from the combat trainer, it looks like it resets it. So we are basically reset, but our death counter is not reset, which means... Uh, yeah, we messed up. So, I can do one thing to kind of fix this. We can evolve our bear, Big Bad Mama Bear. The super amazing has done everything bear for us. We can turn her into a poison or into a lightning. Let's go poison. No, because we already have a poison. Let's go probably go lightning then. Because we basically just broke her. We kind of just erased all the leveling up that we did. Oh, no, we didn't. Hold on. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. So basically now she's she's reset in terms of damage and everything that we got through the combat trainer. So she's starting over, but her her counter didn't. So what we can do is evolve her, which we can grab some gems. A bunch of green gems. And we can see if this resets the genome, which would be kind of a nice little test. Uh, I do want poison. Although we have a poison. I don't really need poison, do I? Let's do... Man, what should we do here? Uh, you know what we should do instead? Instead of focusing on that, we can maybe do our Ovis. Because our Ovis doesn't have that many kills yet. Or our Wyvern. Let me see about Doom. So we could use Doom the Ovis. Since I broke Mama Bear, my bad. We can use Doom, who hasn't leveled up too much and only has how many kills? Let's make sure we're not at 100 kills with this one. And we'll use this one. Okay, so where are you at kill-wise? You don't want to show your kills? Come on. Not going to show it for me? It should be like really low. Oh, 120. Okay. So we want something that hasn't even done that. But I can't use the gorilla because he's too big. Okay, how about... Is there anyone else that hasn't gone through the process that would be kind of fun? Uh, Pounce wouldn't be bad. Saint wouldn't be bad. Green Machine. The Wyvern yeah, is too much. We might just have to tame something new today for that. The Indom. Yeah, we messed up bad. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. Big Bad Mama Bear is going to get evolved. She, she's she been hanging out for a while. Let's make sure we don't have Prime Blood first. Because I don't think they can go to Prime, but I want to make sure. Prime Blood. We definitely don't have the Prime Blood that we need. Let's go... Gems. We're going to go green gem. Like that. I already had some. My bad. Now. Let's go X. Give me the saddle. There you go. Alright. Big Bad Mama Bear is now the Poison Mama Bear. <laughs> there we go. Looks kind of awesome. All giant. Throw your saddle back on. Now. Are you still. It still says enhanced. So now what did that do to our damage? And can we do the evolutions again? That's the that's the question. Because now we're reset on the combat trainer. Down to zero again. And we're doing 32. So I think that's accurate. And now we're doing nice, nice amount of poison. There we go. Finish that one out. So I think that was kind of the way to go. I, I hope that was the right choice. We'll rename her and get that fixed up. But yeah, we kind of broke the bear. It, it happens. When you have all these mods together and they work together unexpectedly, it's something we had to learn on our own. But now, I just don't know if we can do the other tiers yet. That's what I'm kind of wondering. So don't do... We learned our lesson. Don't level them up a bunch and then do genomes. Do it in a different order. So now we know the force science has been answered. Let's go see now. Since we're already kind of messing around with a couple things, let's go ahead and take out the gorilla. And we'll see if there's something else we can tame up today, too. All right, let's go. I need a wyvern saddle just for protection. Wyvern. Oh, come on. Wyvern saddle times two. All right. We'll get two of these made up. There's one. One more. All right, got it. And now we'll go take Doom over here. And we'll do a quick... No, we're going Gorilla. I'm sorry. I keep thinking that we're going to evolve something else. But we'll wait on that. We won't do two of them in one episode. 
Let's jump on our gorilla and test this guy out for a few minutes. Okay, throw a saddle on there just for extra protection. And right. All right, let's see how powerful the big bad gorilla is. We need to go ahead and get a screenshot of him too once it stops raining. We'll worry about that in a minute. These guys are fun, super fast, and this is a alpha alpha version, so it's a doubled up version of it. There we go, 156,000, nice. Very nice, very nice. We'll definitely get this guy leveled up. I would love to evolve him beforehand, but we'll do some breeding later of these guys. The Endom Gorilla. Uh, there we go. All right. And I have enough stuff that we can go through and do some more of the... We can work on more of the genome stuff on other dinos. I'm not worried about that. We just have to be very careful with how we level things up. All right, so you got a bunch of melee levels. Let's go ahead and throw all those in. And then we'll continue to run around and eat things. And then we still can work on the next tier, which is the elite tier. That one will go times two. Then the wraith tier is times three. Firestorm, glacial, and one of the wonder times four or times five, something like that. Basically, it just goes up like that. But the, the Firestorm and the other Glacial are all Tier 4. And then Shadow Tier 5. Shadow something. Shadow Fall. And then we have Ethereal, Night Void, and Transcendent. Which I haven't ran into too many of those things. But we'll definitely see that eventually. Is that, is that a... Oh, got a Mantis hanging out. What's up, Mantis? Let's see if we can get one of your friends. Let's go like this. Make sure we get that. We also did get gifted some armor, but I'll wait a little bit longer before we wear it. And we got a new rifle, which helps out a lot. The damage on this guy is amazing. And we can't evolve this guy until we get a bigger... We need a bigger one of the enhancing stations. All right, there's the Shadowfall Tower. I'm not going to fight this with you guys, but I want to see if we can activate it. It used to be you couldn't activate these until you were the right tier. And I'm actually kind of curious... What kind of stuff it brings in, but I, I don't want to do it here because we're going to get stuck here. So let's not do that. That's something we'll have to look into. But I need to start finding the next tier. The next tiers that we haven't found yet. But we're good on Enhanced Elite. We just need to start finding Wraith. So that's something we'll start looking at. Go ahead and smash a few more things and then we'll work our way around. And let's not level this guy up too much because of what we said earlier. I do want... Oh, a Storm Harvester. Nice. It's a smart place for it. What do we have on this one? Ethereal. Ethereal is tier 6. It's too high. That's a smart place to put one of those, though. Eternal Rex. Let's see if we can get something to spawn. That is... Oh, that belongs to Jazz. Okay. New Patreon member from last night, I think. Alright, let's go this way. All right, I guess we need, we need to go to a new area to look around a little bit. Let's go. All right, there we go. Finally got a good screenshot of the guy. Finally stopped raining. So we're still kind of looking around for some random stuff. We need to find ourselves a good tank. Let's go back. Now that we're a little bigger and stronger, we're going to the swamp just a little bit. Let's see if we can find something that would be a great tank. Something that would be excellent would be a Beals of Ufo. I don't know what kind of dust this is in this area. Come on. Let's get through all this. All right. I want to work my way over there. I also, ooh, I need the crystal. Okay, please, nothing bad happen. Oh, we are a little overweight. Let's go like that. What do we got? That 26, 555. That was what's making us fat. Grab this. That. And that. Got it? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's keep going. Uh, Ride. I hate being on the ground in this area. Spirit Blade. Spirit Plague is not until Tier 4 with the Firestorm. So we're not anywhere near that. We need to find a Wraith Tower soon. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh, no. We're fine. Let's go ahead and eat that guy. I was say we could definitely tame him, but... We're going to wait on that. Until we find a really good level or one to breed with our other one. Alright, I found the perfect dino to take through this. We can get this guy right here. Prime Veals Bufo, level 520. Although this is an ethereal tower, please don't... Oh, please don't turn ethereal. We can knock this guy out pretty easily. Hold on, passive. We just need like one or two darts on this guy and he'll knock out. Okay, stop bouncing. Fully missed that, nice. Okay, where'd it go? 
There you go. I need you to stop hopping like two seconds. Oh, that should have hit. Come on. Oh, we did hit. We hit something. Hold on. Where's he at? Oh, man. I lost him. I guess he ran away. Did we knock him out? Let me see. Taming list. Prime Bills Bufo. Boom. Oh, wow. There's a... We have a snake knocked out somewhere. Let's track that, too. The snake's right over there. Oh, wow. I don't remember doing that. All right. Bills Bufo is ready to go. Let's go ahead and go back to the base and get some stuff. This would be a perfect dino to take through the process for sure. So let's go back. Go like this. And awesome teleporter. We'll do a quick food grab. I didn't even look how much. Hold on. We need three prime meat or prime berries. I didn't know the frog would do either one. That's kind of cool. So let's drop everything. Oh, you did a good job out there. You grabbed all the stuff. This is where it starts getting funny. You get all these crazy drops from everything you're eating. All right. A couple of those things might not pick up. We'll have to keep an eye on them. All right. Pick you up. And let's get three prime meat real quick. Hopefully it picks everything up. Any genome stuff it might not pick up. Sometimes AA has trouble picking up the genome stuff. All right, I'll go up here and we'll get ourselves some prime meat. Might have some already. We got one. We need some more. All right, we need a stack of alpha. Hold on, make sure you're on. Alpha, go. We need like five of that. And we need, oh God, prime blood. I don't have the prime blood. Oh no. Not even for like, just for one. I'm missing one prime blood. Wow. Nothing at all. Dang. Okay, what about the prime berries? Maybe we can make the berries. Come on, we got four alpha berries. Let's make prime berries. All right, taming food. Berries. So we need one of those. Turn that into one of these. There we go. All right, we can do the prime berry. Good, good, good. That is perfect. Okay, so now this guy will take through the whole process of the genome stuff. We'll take him through the first through two tiers. First thing next episode, last remote location. Ooh, this is a bad spot. We gotta be careful. Uh, we didn't think this through. This is a bad idea. Okay. Oh, he's already back up. That's not good. Anything coming to attack me yet? I forgot how quickly these guys wake up. That's insane. All right, ready? Stop bouncing and... Okay, knock out before you eat me. Okay, where'd he go? I kind of don't see him. Hold on. Taming, boom. Oh, he went way over there. No, 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 no. Big ugly, stop it. Oh God, fly. That was not our best decision. Did you hit the Beals Bufo? I think you did. We're going to let him wake up. Okay, don't fall down. In fact, hold on. Where is our snake? There you go. Snake, go do things. There you go. Get him, snake. Yeah, take that. That's what you get. All right, let's let him do the thing. Where are we at? Four million. Be a nice quick knockout. I hope. We'll wait for the frog to wake up, and then we'll knock him out again. Okay, we're going to let you guys play. We'll be back. All right. Awake, and... Oh, come on. That should have hit. Oh, there's bad things over there. Come on. Where, where'd he go? All right, they're still fighting. Okay, hold on. Stop. Passive, passive. Oh, there's bad things. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, buddy. I need you to get ready. We got a Alpha Capro. All right, everything's fine. That is a crazy-looking snake. What happened to the Beals Bufo? There he is. Okay, snake, watch, watch my back. Let's go neutral just in case. That snake's making me super nervous. I hear him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Passive. 
Alright. Quickly. Berries. 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 Alright. You need to eat fast, buddy. This is a really bad area. Eat fast. There you go. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yep. That was a little scary. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, buddy. I think you saved my life already. Good job. Whew. All right. I don't know how we didn't die right there. If we don't get out of here, we're going to die, though. Ah, uh, go. Okay. We can do this really quickly with the frog, but I think we're going to wait till the next episode to do it. So there you go. We got the brand new frog, and in the next episode, we're going to take this frog. We're going to go... We'll do a couple things. We'll take him to the next tier within genomes, and we'll take him... Here we go. We'll take him combat trainer a couple tiers after that. So we'll go tier one, maybe tier two for genomes, and look for tier three, and then we will look at combat trainer leveling up a little bit and then kind of figure out what we want to do from there i might even look for another prime bills Bupo just to see if we can find a better one and maybe breed them so we can get that imprinting bonus as well i hope you guys enjoy it like comment subscribe see you guys in tomorrow's episode thank you so much huge shout out to the patrons huge shout out to you for checking this video out i think that's it i made it in the video you're the mvp thank you so much Bye.